Welcome to the University of Michigan Dentistry Podcast Series, promoting oral health care worldwide. Before the pin facing is cemented, the margins of the castings and the pin facing is finely checked to make sure the adaptation is correct. If it is correct, then the facing will be cemented with zinc phosphate cement. First, the spiral and tula will be modified so that there are only four or five twists left. This gives you more control. Then the direction of the spin is checked with your fingernail. Zinc phosphate cement then is spun down the pinholes, making sure that the cement flows all the way through the pinhole onto the lingual surface. If the spin of the uh, spiral is in the wrong direction, the cement will be pulled toward you and not into the hole. Extra cement is placed on the gold surface and then the facing is carefully placed. Care must be taken not to put too much pressure on this delicate bridge because it is fragile and you can distort it or bend it if you're not careful. When it is seated all the way, then the excess cement is wiped away and the margins and the pins are burnished and finished. Here we are using a green stone to cut the platinum pins down to the gold surface, going from platinum to gold. This rivets the gold and the platinum together. Then a 5S burnisher is used to burnish the gold margins and the incised ledge. A sand disc then is used to finally finish the platinum and gold margin on the lingual surface where the pins come through. The same disc then is used to modify the incisal edge going from gold to porcelain. This margin should be smooth and there should be no catches as you run an explorer from porcelain to gold. The bridge then is tried back on the model and if the occlusion is correct then we are ready to cement. There should be centric stops on the ponic and the both of the abutment castings. The margin should be very smooth. There should be no catches or overhangs. If this is correct, then the bridge will be cemented with a temporary zinc oxide eugenol cement. The same spiral will be used to spin the cement down the pinholes. In this situation, we will be removing the bridge again to check it in. When enough cement has gone down the pinholes, a small amount will be added to the castings and this bridge will be seated. You must push it down with a fair amount of pressure and then an orange wood stick is used to seat it firmly into place, taking care not to put too much pressure on the potic area. When it is apparently seated and no more cement oozes out of the margins, then some burnishing can be done on the gold margins. The pressure of the cement oozing out of the margins can open those margins slightly, and they need to be burnished down for the final cementation check. The incisal edges are also burnished. And then the patient is allowed to Close on this for about 10 minutes. After this check has been completed, the bridge is cleaned and is finally checked in with your instructor by checking the occlusion. The excess cement is removed, the margins are double checked, and then the bridge is placed in a bag with the rest of the preclinical materials and turned in to the preclinical office for final evaluation. In cementing a clinical case with zinc phosphate cement, the pinholes first must be varnished with a copalite varnish. Here we are using cut-off paper points. You'll note we use a fresh paper point each time so we do not contaminate the varnish. It's important that the entire pinhole is varnished and the lingual surface is varnished before the bridge is cemented. 
zinc phosphate cement then is spun down the pinhole, making sure the spiral is spinning in the proper direction. In this case, we have two pin ledge abutments. The loaded bridge end is seated firmly, and the excess cement is wiped away with a gauze. Then an orange wood stick will be used to further seat the bridge. Care must be taken not to fracture the ponic. All margins that are accessible then are burnished with a 5S burnisher. The hydraulic action of the cement oozing out of the margins tends to open them slightly. And at this point, the fine margins are burnished down. The incisal margins can also be burnished at this time. A sand disc is used then to round and finally finish the incisal margins. The margins are rounded so that they do not reflect gold. The margin should be so smooth that an explorer should not catch as you go from enamel to tooth. The incisal edges of the central incisor are also finished in the same manner. You'll note on the finished case now how much gold there is on the incisal edge. The incisal edges are protected on these very delicate anterior teeth. However, if the case is designed properly, the gold does not show from an anterior view. And you'll note the ponic design, a very aesthetic looking case that will give the patient many years of good service. You've been listening to a presentation from the University of Michigan School of Dentistry, which is dedicated to supporting open learning and open educational resources. This recording is licensed under the Creative Commons. It may be reused and redistributed for nonprofit use. Please attribute materials to the University of Michigan School of Dentistry and redistribute under this same license. For more information on how this and other University of Michigan School of Dentistry recordings may be used, visit www.dent.umich.edu/license.